Hi, it's Mayor Walter Senzik. It is Monday, April 9th, and before I kick off the Mayor's report, as we have council tonight, I would just like to acknowledge and offer our condolences to the community of Humboldt and Saskatchewan for the loss of so many lives due to the tragic accident that took place on the weekend. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families, uh, the team, the friends, and the community of Humboldt as they deal with this very difficult tragedy. There was an announcement last week that we'll be having free Wi-Fi coming into certain areas of our community and it's being driven by a partnership with Bell Canada. So the city and Bell are partnering on these kiosks that will be located in our downtown area. There's three of them that will you'll, you'll see uh, being installed in our downtown space in the next couple of months. It's a great opportunity to see how touchscreen technology is coming into communities like St. Catharines. We're the first community, one of the first in Canada that will have the deployment of this kind of technology that will bring updates as to what's going on in our community, but also there will be a 911 call button on there, as well as some interactive features that will be able to promote what's going on in the city. So you'll be seeing these uh, come to life in the next couple of months. I also want to congratulate the St. Catharines Falcons for a wonderful 50th season. They made it all the way to the finals and they had a, a wonderful run and we want to congratulate the board members, the team, all those who support the Falcons in our community. 50 years strong. We look forward to next year as we gear up as well for the 51st season. Also the Harlem Globetrotters are coming back to the Meridian Center on April 17th. So if you want to come out for a great, a great opportunity for an event that is fun for the whole family. Get your tickets to the Globetrotters. Uh, I got an opportunity to hang out with Zeus. Uh, they are great, they're fun, and it's great fun for everyone. So get your tickets to that event as well. We're right in the mix of playoff runs with the Ice Dogs and the River Lines. The Ice Dogs are in round two. Congratulations and good luck tonight. Tonight's a council night. It is also an Ice Dogs night on Monday. They also play on Wednesday at home at the Meridian Center. So let's hope that they can even up the series against the Hamilton Bulldogs. It's a little shaping up to be a, a great playoff uh, series. As well, the River Lions are coming back with a playoff run of their own. So they'll be playing against London and we look forward to cheering them on at the Meridian Center as well. So good luck to the River Lions and the Ice Dogs. As well, it's April, which means it's Poetry Month. So a couple of years ago, I launched a poetry, Mayor's Poetry Challenge. It returns again this year as part of Poetry Month, where we celebrate uh, the art of the prose. And what we're asking for this year is that if you want to put pen to paper and you want to provide a poem that focuses in on parks and how a park inspires you or what a park means to you in your community, in your neighborhood, uh, we'll be accepting them all throughout the month of April and then I'll be able to we'll be able to make an announcement as who is going to be the the one poet that we choose. Also there's a number of businesses that were celebrating milestones. Aristocrat Flooring, 60 years in business, the next generation is taking over. Matt Prickett, I had an opportunity to meet with him, a bright young entrepreneur in our community who's taken over that business and building it to new heights. So congratulations Matt and to your team as well as Tootsie Tune-Up over there on Scott Street, doing a wonderful job, five years in business. Carmen and her team are creating a wonderful experience for men who are looking to get out and do some, have some grooming done. It's a fun place to be. It's pretty cool to be in there. And uh, when you go in there, tell Carm that the mayor sent you, because it is a, a great opportunity to, for men just to hang out and, and take care of themselves. As well, Attachment and Trauma Treatment Center, Lori Gill opened up a new center in our community. This focuses, focuses in on attachment and trauma that uh, is providing a, a great service. So Lori has, is opening up in our community and uh, if you want to check her out, she's on the corner of Niagara and Welland Avenue. As well, uh, Halty Halt uh, opened up on Dunkirk, another manufacturing company that does window and door manufacturing installations and they've opened up their doors. So you, a lot of business activity taking, taking place in their community, whether it's celebrating milestones or opening up new doors. There's a lot going on when it comes to business. There's a lot going on when it comes to getting out into our community, whether it's at the First Ontario Performing Arts Center, at the Meridian Center, or all the other places that are hosting unique events. 
get out. I know it's April, kind of chilly. The warm weather's coming. I promise you it's going to be a great April as we head into May. And I look forward to seeing you out and about. Until next time, take care.